Hey everybody, I'm JJ, and I uh, just want to talk to you about keeping chickens safe and happy when it's really, really cold out. So, first thing we do for water, water is the most important part for regulating their body temperature, is we have a metal chicken water or fount, and then a heater down here that's thermostatically controlled. That gives them plenty of water, that's five gallon size. And then we also mix in a little bit of scratch green when it gets real cold. That way they can uh, have a little higher carb value and uh, helps them regulate their body temperature a little bit higher. I also mix in some scratch green with their uh, feed, their regular layer feed as well. And I just make sure they have plenty of food. And then the other thing I did is, you can see back there, I uh, put some uh, insulation, some pine flakes down. That way they don't have to be on the real cold ground and they can come out here during the day and kind of hang out in that in that scratch. Now they'll they'll spread it around pretty quick, but it'll help them it'll help them uh, stay a little bit warmer. And then of course we've got that uh, warmer back in the back, and uh, that only I only turn that on when it gets down into the single digits, or if there's going to be a big temperature swing of like 20 to 25 degrees. So we're getting a, a pretty significant drop here. We're gonna be down to negative 15 tonight. We have been up around the 30s. So we got the heater in the back set on uh, high. Now I'll give you a quick look at that heater. So that, so that is the little heater that we use. It is not a, uh, a bulb. Oh, we got one in here laying, <laughs> even as cold as it is. Um, it's not a, a bulb type. It just does radiant heat, and that way there's no fire risk or anything like that. And again, I just turn that on when you need to. The other thing you want to do is make sure that your coop is uh, windproof for the most part. You do want to have just a little bit of ventilation, but you really, for the most part, when it's really, really cold like this, you want to make sure you're not getting a strong crosswind through there. That's about it.